proposal because we are living longer and healthier lives. Exactly. So why not? I think if you are capable of doing the work, mm. then why not mm. still be in work? And it keeps you active, mm. it keeps you mentally alert, and also it's a nice extra bit mm. of money as well. well parents giving teachers presents, because really it's coming from the parents. Yeah, so absolutely. it's threefold. So you've got the parents trying to outdo the other parents, trying to give the best presents. You've got the kids. If they give great presents to the other kids, mm. you know, they can, can be cruel. We'll start saying, oh, teachers, pets, absolutely. you crawler, and all the rest of it. And then you've got the teachers who really, all they really want is a bottle of wine. Yeah. I'm very oh, uncomfortable. Yeah. I know, obviously, he wants to protect his, his I, I believe it's eight, 85 million pounds you know, worth. As you would. As yeah. you would. <laughs> and, and so allegedly she's getting two million for every year. If they do split, oh. two million for every year. And I do, like you, Dan, I feel a little bit uncomfortable about prenups. Mm. But I suppose some people, depending on their wealth, they have to do it. I was actually talking to our lovely Martin, our money-saving expert. She's yeah. got some hot stats I've got some. Yeah, I've got a few. Ooh. I've only got one. But that 2.2 billion is nothing because our national debt is actually more like 500 billion plus. Mm. So that 2.2 wouldn't really do much. Uh, apparently, I mean, she looks a picture of health. I mean, you know, it's good to see her, you know, back and looking healthy. And in fact, she looks like she's put on a bit of weight, which to me is good news, because mm. um, she was looking a little bit frail um, before she caught this uh, malaria. Um, but I'm not sure if it was a staged um, sort of oh. cup of coffee. And you touched there, and it is about sometimes the self-esteem of, mm. of the, the kids. Absolutely. You know, if they have to go swimming lessons, they may feel a bit funny, mm. you know, as you say, with their weight issues and things like that. And, and it's very heart-wrenching for a parent. Mm. to You almost feel like you're forcing them. So it's kind of easier to... Yeah, well, to them to yeah but that is, is avoiding the issue. The issue. Should, it really is. So, so, so where do we find that balance? I think it's, mm. it might seem unconventional, you know, mm. um, that we might think, um, why are they doing it? Because suppose the other partner loves actually being on their own. I yes. think, oh, actually, the danger. this is great. Mm. I can watch my girly movies, I can have my girlfriends around, I can put my feet up, I can do whatever I like. Or he might be saying, I can get, get the lads around <laughs> and out to the pub every you, night. Well, exactly. suppose, it, suppose you end up liking it. Mm. You know, but they did this for 15 months and actually it did work for them, ah. which is great. <laughs> It's Lord Andrew Lloyd Webber, Jackie Collins, Jackie Joseph and Matt Tebbett. Yeah. yeah. I mean, for me, I suppose, um, if I'm going to be really blunt, uh, the best way to support our servicemen and women is to take them out, really, at the end, end of take the day. Take them out of, out of... Take them out of Afghanistan, take them out of um, Iraq. We've had yeah. over yeah. 313 yeah. dead in Afghanistan. No. 100, it's, it's over 179, you know, died in Iraq. Mm. How many more lives are we going to lose and if you of have, these youngsters? If you have children, it's unthinkable. Big Very TVs good. are horrible. Well, Very good, Kevin. How big is yours, then? Uh, as it were, <laughs> 30 <laughs> inches. Oh, I can I just, <laughs> I'd <laughs> like yeah. to say, I'm, I'm, I love a big TV. <laughs> we're, we're banned for the wrong side. No, yeah, I think it looks out of place. If you've, unless you've got a massive living room. You know, if you've got a massive living room and you want this 55-inch screen in there, then great. Yeah. But, you know, the average home has an average-sized living room. Yeah. You have this huge thing in there. It becomes the feature. It's not your wallpaper it. or your fireplace. Yeah. It's well, this huge monstrosity. Really the homes, if there are some royal residences that are only being used, I don't know, one day in a year, yes. get rid of them, if that's the case. If, sure. they're, if they're not being used and just collecting dust, then... Then you why know, not? Then why and who not? would, who would buy them? No, but the Queen what doesn't the Queen live... doing that one day No, we year? keep Buckingham Palace, we keep Balmoral, we keep <laughs> Windsor Sandhurst. Castle, we'll keep, you know, Ken Kensington, Kensington <laughs> Palace, etc. Because they, they have got them. a lot of houses when you go through them all there. I know, I they know. They have. And there you and go. The thing is you imagine would... if someone bought Buck Palace and turned it into a hotel. The, I'm not, that, mean, that might not happen. <laughs> <laughs> Good hotel right in the centre of London, very handy for the shops. <laughs> You're right. Think about it's it. positive yeah. in there. <laughs> <laughs> Getting child benefit. There are more people in low income um, that really deserve that money, and it really comes in handy. A lot of people even poo poo it. I, I know of people who are quite wealthy, and they save up their child benefit. So I think you can have it. You could after three months. It's you can't cash it. They save it up because they don't really need it. That means yeah. you save by taking it, it away from people. Uh, well, possibly. It he's going to come up to the patrons. That's exactly what he's going to do. And we've already heard that he's going to possibly make cuts on the winter fuel bill. Yeah. That is ridiculous. How can you ri raise that from 60 to 70? How dare he touch that? I just how, think. How it's you, what do you think the, the knock-on effect of this is going to be? <laughs> I mean, this test is a simple blood test, as you say, and um, women can have it from the age of 20. Mm. This, this test will be offered right. um, to women. Um, 
I'm kind of, you know, in the middle here on this. There's one part of me that says, um, for instance, suppose your mother went through the menopause early. Yeah. Then, yes, I think, you know, you should yeah. have the test, and I think it should be, mm. you know, given. On the other side of the coin, then, suppose, you know, you have the test, and then they say, okay, you're not going to have the menopause until you're 49. Yes. Then will women start saying, which I'm sure a lot of women do anyway, I'm going to delay having right. um, a family. Right. Let me get on with my career, mm -hmm. make sure I'm all set, because I, I've got until I'm 49. Mm. You know, so, so that's, to me, that's the problem. <laughs> Please welcome today's guests. It's Jackie Joseph, Adam Garcia, Rachel Allen and Brendan Cole. I'm a huge fan, I think... How yeah, but the reason why Brendan's a fan is because he's got an ego too. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. But as Rachel just said, Rachel said was right. We, we haven't seen him, and I think until maybe Cameron goes on holiday or goes on paternity leave, maybe Nick could get his moment then. Do you not think he's having his moment behind the scenes? That they're they're going to be joined together. What, no, what it's meant to be a coalition. About the people that say, yeah. please welcome today's quiz mistress, Jackie Joseph. Be gentle. I'll try. <laughs> Here's today's quiz mistress, Jackie Joseph. Mm -hmm. Jackie, you're in charge. Michael, mm -hmm. your time on general knowledge starts now. Which season do Americans call fall? Autumn. Correct. Which film character famously said, life is like a box of chocolates? Forrest Gump. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks to Jackie Joseph. Now, welcome today's quiz mistress, Jackie Joseph. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. <clears throat> what would you like it to be? I don't care. <laughs> Cocky, aren't the you? The easiest. <laughs> no, I just want the easiest. Oh, film. Thanks to Jackie Joseph. Thank you, lovely. We, no, we've no. got to make more of an effort. It's Listen about partnerships. Make an Listen effort. I think Jackie. that's very important. Make yes. an effort. Do you know yeah. what I mean? It's a, it's a partnership. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And Absolutely. it takes two to, to make it work. I agree with you, Jackie. Thank I think you. Luke's rather like him. He does. When, when Brad is being grungy. Grungy. And that's yes. the funny thing you see, Lorraine. He, he's actually said, I think, I believe his name is Jonathan. Mm. He's actually said that when he's suited and booted, no one really recognises him, but when, when he grungy, puts on the yeah, grungy people clothes, people mistake him for brand. Yes, and he's Ooh. even opened a supermarket. He's just already. grown a beard. He has opened he a, has supermarket. Opened a <laughs> supermarket. Oh, that's yes. hilarious. Yes, yes. That's yes. Really funny. I do think we're sending out the wrong message to these young girls and boys. Let's not forget, Don't you know, trying boys. to you know make them th feel inadequate. Almost, they want to lose weight. Um, that they're trying to get to this unobtainable goal. It's unrealistic. When they see isn't perfect, yeah. perfect figures, perfect hair, perfect skin. And, and to me, I think you were sending the wrong message to these vulnerable youngsters, really. And they haven't actually said it in the, the limit in this article. Are they going to 49? Are they going to 50? Mm. You know, and, and, and also the cost to the NHS. The NHS Again. is already suffering at the moment. Uh, is this creating further division in our multicultural society, Jackie? What do you think? Well, I just think it's a little bit unfair, and I think it's too young for these um, girls to be covered head to toe with just, you know, their eyes showing, going to school. Um, you know, these young kids, 11 years old, a female girl, why can't she just go to school in a normal uniform? Mm. Why does she have to be covered head to toe? <laughs> I don't understand that. No, it isn't. My sister got married two weeks ago. She's 36. There's nothing wrong with that. I guess there's anything wrong with it. No, but as, as Sunita said as well, um, the, the guys, I'm sorry guys, but you, you sort of tend to mature a bit later. Like, so we like have to wait, wine. you know, like good wine, oh, exactly. <laughs> I don't believe Mark Jacobs likes that terminology either. I just think he it should wants be something to else. The name, yeah, actually, curvaceous yeah, or yes. something, you know. Um, and yes, it's great that he's doing this for women over a size 14 because let's face it, size 14 is the average size in exactly. the UK for, for, for women. Yes, it is. Um, and so he should be doing this anyway. <laughs>